How's it going everyone? In today's episode we're going to be installing some LRB door carts in the FDRX7. I was so impressed with the fit and finish in the FC that I decided to hit up LRB again. This time we're going to be doing things a little bit differently and we're going to be wrapping the cards in some micro suede before we install them. Let's get to it. Alright so here's the LRB door panel. The first thing we're going to do is just rewrap it in some micro suede. Uh, so we're just going to spray it with some adhesive on the door panel as well as the fabric and let it set for a few minutes, just so the glue becomes nice and tacky. All right, after the adhesive is nice and tacky, we're gonna place the door panel on top of the fabric. Then we'll just trim the excess fabric along the edges. And then we'll spray the edges uh, where the fabric is going to fold over onto. For corners like this, we'll just cut right here so that there's uh, no creases and everything's nice and tight. All right, after the fabric is dried and everything is held in place, you're just going to want to cut holes where there's going to be items such as the door controls and then the door pull. Um, so just use an X-Acto for that. You're also going to have to just cut out some tiny little holes for the window trim and the felt side is going to face the window. So it's going to attach like this. And here's the window trim installed. And here's what the door panel looks like. Completed and wrapped. Remove the door card which consists of a few screws. And you're going to want to unclip the electrical connectors. And that leaves us with this right here. And then after that, we're going to remove a few elements from the door, including the speaker, um, pretty much all of the switches, any plastic surrounds, and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to take off the speaker and the surround. Next we'll take off the door pull. All right, so next we're gonna take off these two 10 millimeter nuts and then this 10 millimeter bolt and keep this one handy because you're gonna to wanna to reuse that. So here's the bracket the LRB includes. This is pretty much a bracket that's gonna hold the stock door pull in place. All right, so these L brackets will attach using these six zinc steel lock nuts. So be sure you use the right bolt and lock nut combination here. All right, so next we're gonna take off this bracket right here. And next we're gonna basically take off these lines that are connected to the latch. Uh, the reason being is that we're going to have to run these through here instead of here because it's going to conflict with the door card in the current location. Just keep in mind you only have to do this in the passenger side. On the driver's side you don't have to worry about this. Just unclip this, pop that out. Alright, so now we're going to out these poles to the bracket and the basic order is going to be washer, spacer, and the panel itself 
And then we're gonna thread a bolt and then a nut on this side with this spacer inside. And don't forget to slide these back in place. These are basically where we're gonna hold the lines. Uh, they're gonna prevent them from backing out. Uh, the back one, so basically this latch, you're gonna have to bend this a little bit just for some clearance and issues. Then we'll reattach the cables. Then we'll secure the bracket with washer and a nut combination. And then that 10 millimeter bolt that you saved from before, we'll go into this hole right here. Mm -hmm. This point, you have your door poles mounted. You should just try it out just to make sure everything's good to go. All right, so we're gonna pass through the window switch. All right, so now we're gonna connect all the electrical components and then slide the door panel over this lip and get these poles through the hole. Then we'll use these plastic push type rivets to hold it in place, just three of them. And then one more screw. Last but not least, we'll attach our door pole. Looking fresh. And here it is. Door panel in its entirety. And here's all the stuff that you get rid of. And the old crumbly door panel. And after repeating the, basically the same process for the driver side, you're left with this. All right, well that wasn't too bad of an install, was it? I would highly recommend LRB products as the fit and finish is just outstanding and they have amazing customer support. We've got some exciting things coming for the FD, including possibly a new bridge ported motor, but uh, we'll see shortly. Peace out.